so I did not come down here for two months. 120 volts, which is low. Uh, the filter is okay. If the water is spilling over here, it means that it's okay. I'm I still gonna clean a bit here and uh, there where it's coming. But uh, there is something else. There is another problem. There is way more water, but uh, way too much too. Well, that's not okay. The tube blew up, blew up there. I don't know why. Some reason it went off. Oh, all right. That's not the good news. What happened? What happened here? Oh. It's all wet. Oh shit. That's not cool. Okay, so there is two buckets that are broken. So what I, I think happened is that this went too much and it touched the it touched the wheel. I think that's what happened. So yeah, it's broken. I'll, I'll need to make another one. Well, two of them. Ah, uh, crap. So the problem is this one that touched at high speed, it broke and there was a metal thing at the, at the end. I don't know where it is. I'll try to find it and uh, I have two buckets that are broken. Melt them again and uh, make two overs. I think I have two overs like this. It's of zinc. This one is not aluminium, it's much heavier, it's zinc. So now I need to take off this wheel and replace, but it's raining, so that's not cool. So here is where it broke. The two. So it's not a problem because I will put these to melt again to make the two to replace like this. Yeah, like this. So the the weakness of the zinc compared to the aluminium is that with a if you bit strongly like this you can break it and that's what happened I think if it was aluminium it would not break but as I don't have any more of this one with zinc I do have for example, this one in aluminium I have more of them in aluminium but I don't have any zinc so I'll make them now this is some kind of resin that I put for the nuts not to go out that's why it's like this, it's uh, yellow. Run is red. Yeah, it passed.
so here is the blueprint to make the holes here on the side to align this here to make the holes I do like this I 3D printed this part which is as I have the model of this of this in 3D I 3D model this part around with an offset so that it can go in like this and then I drill here this is like a um, 6 millimeter uh, knot and uh, I drilled I drilled the, the knot and now it can slide straight because before I was without these two bolt two knots and uh, what happened is that I was making the holes on the side and then it wasn't precise so like this it's always precise it's always going straight directly where it should be so so I did all of those two in aluminium I made the, the front the flat part here goes in the flat part like this then I, I use a hammer to align and that's it so I will make three of them so if I break one I still have I will maybe make more I always keep two crucible. This one is for aluminium, this one is for zinc. So I'm gonna melt back the belton and uh, light up the fire. The three are ready. I just need to warm it up and uh, pour it. This one is fine, on this side at least. So this one is perfect, this one I keep. Seems good. One is good too. Two out of three are okay. Looks good from this side. So it's a success, 3 out of 3, it's perfect. Now I need to cut here 
and uh, this part will be to melt again and uh, it's quite difficult to cut aligned with the the pattern but uh, I do it I did it quite often so it's not a problem Look tight. 